Hello and welcome to PSP Classics. In this installment, the game is Coded Arms, released by Konami in 2005. This is a first person shooter for the PSP. Now, you might be thinking, how do you do a first-person shooter on a PSP? The PSP only has one analog dub. And, well, there, that there is the major problem. And that's why there were so few um, first-person shooters on the PSP. Um, but this one does an unusual approach. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into this. This is a game that's not ported to the PSP. This was made from the ground up for the PSP. And in doing so, um, the game was enabled to sort of incorporate what the PSP could handle and its control scheme um, into the gameplay. And that sort of helps the game be more than just a generic shooter that happens to be on the PSP. This is a game that was built from the ground up for the PSP. luck indeed. Alright, you can enter a username. Let's just put in something real simple. Do the first mission. So, this is like a Matrix-like training environment. Alright. 
So I'm moving with the analog stick, and I look around by using the four face buttons. I fire with the uh, right shoulder trigger, and I jump with the left. You know, considering this came out very early in the PSP's life, it really does look quite spectacular. You know, games like this uh, were real, you know, show, show droppers uh, to show you what the PSP could handle that the DS certainly could not. Although there were a handful of first edition shooters on the DS as well. This looks almost as good as a PS2 game. precise than, you know, on a console. Auto-aiming is a thing that uh, is both useful and, you know, necessary. So let's show you a bit more gameplay.
there's the exit. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section down below, and I'll see you next time.